Hi everyone, my name is Paul. I'm a little bit older than average motorcyclist. Um, I just recently bought my seventh motorcycle. It's a Kawasaki Versus 650. Um, last year, I rode around Lake Superior. I live in the upper Midwest. Put on about 4,000 miles. Uh, great bike. So I outfitted that bike with some accessories, some shad bags, top bag, tank bag, uh, handlebar extensions, USB uh, port, uh, mirror extenders, uh, comfort things as far as convenience and traveling and camping. And uh, this winter I'm focusing on buying uh, safety related items, gloves, pants, uh, jacket, uh, new helmet, very expensive. Um, so the purpose of this video coming up is to highlight the different safety related items that I bought. Uh, I also bought uh, some uh, crash bars, uh, luggage bars um, from T-Rex. Uh, they were kind enough to uh, put a combination together of the two items that I was interested in and also uh, threw in a free t-shirt. So uh, hats off to uh, T-Rex and uh, hope you enjoy my upcoming videos leave a comment uh, suggestions recommendations uh, as you will and uh, be safe when you're riding so this is the first piece of safety gear that i'm going to overview which is my uh, revit chicane gloves uh, i want to also say that you should uh, review the videos on uh, either Revzilla or YouTube uh, when you're searching for gloves. Um, I'm kind of crazy about uh, analyzing things. This is a list of all the different gloves that I reviewed. I kind of weighed them on what my priorities were. Knuckle armor, a short or a long glove. Uh, and I also take advantage of the Revzilla stars. I boiled it down to four uh, different uh, gloves that I wanted to look at more closely and they were Reax Caster, the Revit Chicane, the Alpine Star Seller V2, and the Icon Hypersport Pro. And I rated these a lot on the type of fit, the length, the touch technology, warranty, my size, different features, and then looks. You know, a lot of things come down to looks. Um, I think this is a great looking glove. I like the fact that it's a, a mid-length cuff. Um, I'm also very fond of this armor being uh, aluminum. I think it's uh, hydroformed aluminum, perhaps powder coated. Uh, it has a uh, polyethylene uh, a molding around it with some vent reliefing. Um, so this is probably a step above the standard sub $100 gloves. Again, I should say these are $150 on Revzilla. Um, they have a lot of details that I can touch on. Uh, the outer skin is goat hide, uh, cow hide. And I did a little research on what they call digital goat skin. And that is in this area here, there is uh, a pattern and that pattern enhances grip and uh, flexibility and they refer to that as uh, embossed digital um, there's some what they call pu coated factor fabric uh, polyurethane coating it, it enhances water resistance lightweight and in and flexibility some other things um, the uh, the newer models, I believe, have touchscreen uh, sensitivity. I thought that when I saw this pattern on here that that indicated that mine did. I tried it. They do not. Um, and uh, just some more details. They're very attractive. There's, there's padding in a lot of areas, um, you know, around the outer portion of your hand. If you were to fall there, there's pads all the way down to your palm. Um, the Velcro grip is a little bit of a shortcoming in my opinion um, we have a very fairly skinny uh, velcro tab uh, here um, i'd like to have seen that the width equal to this but maybe that inhibited some flexibility i don't know um, 
for me, you know, I've got bigger than average hands. I, I wear XL gloves. Um, my normal street gloves are uh, a model that they, they call thick. <laughs> so it's not a complimentary feature, but uh, they, they're very comfortable. When I put these gloves on, uh, they fit tight, you know, right through this area here. Um, and I would like to have seen that opened up a little bit. When I get them on, I mean, they fit really nice. Um, they are not any too large, but then again, they're not any too small either. Um, the riding season where I'm at hasn't started yet. We still have about three feet of snow in our backyard. Um, so these I've worn probably a total of four hours in the house, just flexing them like I'm doing to try to break them in a little bit. Um, so again, I would encourage you to shop gloves that you feel are right for you. Um, these I liked because of the, uh, the little bit longer than normal uh, cuff, uh, the aluminum uh, here rather than uh, plastic, uh, the venting that we see here, the logo, they're very attractive. Um, I'm not real sure what is reflective. I think this area here is probably reflective. So my focus is safety, but also comfort. There's some protection here and on these three fingers, good pad on the outside here. I might have wanted to see uh, a web tied finger so that you don't get your little finger tore off. If it happens to hook, it would share some strength from the adjacent finger. Um, but again, overall, very happy, anxious to give them a try. Um, Again, these are made by Revit, Chicane, they're made in the Netherlands, and I hope this video gives you a little bit closer uh, look at some of, the, some of the aspects of the glove, and uh, you can make your choice appropriately and uh, be safe when you're riding.